just arrived here at the office. I look at the weather, it looks good, the waves. Um, I teach the kids here at the Surf Academy, teach them some more things about the ocean, the waves, and rips and tides, and uh, we just have some fun as well, let the kids know that um, to enjoy themselves out there. Pretending only goes so far. I'm Nicky Fenter and I'm a surf instructor in Cape Town, South Africa. I think I've been surfing about close to 30 odd years. I started, my dad bought a long longboard at an auction when I was a little kid and that's where I started surfing. Uh, and it's ever since that I, I haven't stopped. I've tried other sports on the way through life, but uh, surfing has been my main core one that I, I my passion and I love. Our academy is more than just the like surf, it's almost like a lifestyle of family together with pushing the kids to their abilities um, in the sport and in life as well and in God like to know that there, um, there's a bigger picture than just the surfing, surfing, surfing thing. And through that we're building relationships, it's not just a one sort of thing. So it's also a whole lifestyle and see you can do these sports and you can be a surfer and a competitive surfer without going on the wrong road, as, as I can say like that, with the whole party and drinking and smoking and doing kind of drugs and that stuff, where they can see the healthy side of the sport with the family intact as well. It was a hard day at the office, you could check the weather was tough, we had to put sunblock up, we had to put a wetsuit on, go with the kids in the sea and catch on waves and stuff. The stuff, but you know, someone has to do it, and we got through another day, and can't wait to get on the the bike side and have some fun. So yeah, I just love that whole uh, the sound and the petrol, the two-stroke or whatever bike you're on. <laughs> so there's a fine line of control, surfing and biking or any sport, and you push it, push it, and sometimes you can get on the edge and you still make it and it's fine, and then. The other times is when losing the control takes over and that's when the consequence comes eh? and then sometimes it's bad like but in life as well <laughs> there's good there's good stuff that happens and then the consequence of the bad stuff you have to work through it. There's a scripture uh, in Proverbs 25 verse 28 that says uh, like a city whose walls are broken down is a man who lacks self-control. So that's quite a vivid kind of picture if you think of a walls of an old city that was surrounded by it to protect themselves and now there's this massive gap. Uh, you know, it's like enemy or anything can come in and steal and destroy. So, um, and that is what like, if your mind is like that and your lack of self-control is, anything will come in and will have a huge effect in your life where if there's self-control, the knocks will come and you will handle it differently. And, you know, that's how you gain ground. You don't just actually stand still, you gain ground by doing that. So, yeah, it's very important. Fun day at the track and the lesson for today was self-control. You guys are watching XLTV.